Yeah. All right, don't don't fall. So here's a. We're heading back to the room because our bucket is full. Okay, I got it. I'm keeping that one. <laughs> Robert's like, don't pick up any more tulips. But this is a different colored one. I do have a problem. I will definitely admit I have a problem. I have a big problem. There's way too many shells at Sandy Bell right now. Way too many shells. Yes, we're passing up that shell pile. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna resist the urge and I'm going to, I'm gonna help me up. We're just gonna walk right across the sand because otherwise, hold on. <coughs> There's shells in my shoe. This, <laughs> otherwise, you know, we're gonna pick up more shells. All right, so here we go. Sorry, I got sand on you. I got sand everywhere. So, so <laughs> this is the island inn. It is the only, this is February 2023. It is the only hotel open right now on Sanibel. So this is, was, this is a newer building. So it was slightly damaged during the hurricane. They fixed it pretty fast. And um, that's, I think the Matthews lodge. And that one over there is the Starkey Lodge. lodge. That's where we're staying. And this building right here is the Kimber Lodge that is not open. It is severely destroyed. It, the roof, they lost the roof. The whole bottom floor was blown out. So there's water damage for all three levels. They haven't, they haven't decided what they're gonna do yet, but most likely it will have to be torn down because of structural damage. You know, like FEMA's 50% rural, so it's still being evaluated. And then this is where a pool used to be, a bar, it's all gone. This. say it's the oh it's the what was the court what was it called again shuffleboard the shuffle is a piece of the shuffleboard court there you go <laughs> so normally before hurricane Ian, when we came to sanibel we would stay at the island inn, but we would walk up and down the beach right now. You don't have to walk up and down the beach. In front of the beach, in front of Island Inn, it's just shell pile after shell pile. I've never seen so many shell piles. And neither have the locals. So it's not like, I don't want you to like think, oh, it's because of Hurricane Ian. No, it's not. The shell pile hasn't been sitting there since Hurricane Ian. It has not. I don't remember. Um, it's just, she said it's just appeared within the last couple days, so. Lots of wiring. Yeah. I'll be careful. So apparently the bell is still standing. Island in historic Vernon Bell. Okay, so the bell lasted survived the hurricane. The building was right here. It was. It was right here, wasn't it? To get breakfast and... Oh my god, it was right outside the building. Mm -hmm. This built there was the the restaurant was right here. Wow. Oh yeah, watch out for the wiring. That just <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of So yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't know. I'm assuming they're gonna tear, tear, tear it down, but don't quote me on it. Like I said, they have not decided anything. Um, but but the erosion under the building. Yeah, that's the other, oh yeah, oh my God, you're right. The other problem is they've lost a lot of footage from the beach. And even if they did fix it, they probably need to move it further back. Because the beach will just keep coming closer and closer. Like during the height, like, like right now, it's it just, just the tides change throughout the year, and obviously the tide has got to the building because it's washing out underneath. We just thought we could stay. Yes.
is, is, it is heartbreaking. Okay, so I think they're done working for the night. Nope, the cord is still there. I want to wash my feet, but I'm afraid of that extension cord. What if I pull it out a little bit? What if you don't do it at all? All right, fine. So, okay, after dinner, we will park right here. There's uh, parking. Because they're done working. They're done working for the day. And we're leaving tomorrow, so. Yeah. So, we parked over there because they were they were doing construction. The, the, the first floor, they're rebuilding the first floor. Someone, so here's a car from Vermont. And then... A car I don't know. So these people drove from Vermont. All right, we are. Let's see if she gets it. Oh, I got it. Wait, I gotta shake off my sandy feet. Shake your feet. <laughs>